is the only picture Donna Ford could find of her dad's all-black hockey team from the 1930s, the St. Catharines Orioles. Growing up, she didn't even know he played. He didn't mention it too much. Um, I actually found out when a picture was in the local newspaper, the St. Catharines Standard. She spent a decade researching her family history and her dad's hockey career, and she quickly learned the headline the sports editor wrote at the time was wrong. Canada's only all-black hockey team, which was not really true. <laughs> it wasn't deliberate. He just didn't know about the other one that was a whole league down in the Maritimes. Her father, Dick Nicholson, played with his brothers and cousins on the Orioles in the 1930s against white teams from all over Niagara. For a long time, uh, they, they didn't have their own ice to practice on, and when they first started out, they weren't as good. Her dad didn't save his jerseys or memorabilia, and what happened to the team is unknown. While researching her family, she discovered her great-grandfather, Adam Nicholson, came to Niagara through the Underground Railroad in 1854. I learned that his, uh, his family was born in Virginia. They were enslaved people, and then they became freedom seekers because they weren't going to stand for that anymore. He eventually married and bought two acres of land outside of St. Catharines. The couple had six kids, more than enough for a hockey team. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News. Niagara.